and welcome to episode three of the market structure series. So today we're going to be doing something a bit different. I got a question or kind of a recommendation from one of our students to go over um, liquidity trading ranges and entry refinements. So we are going to kind of apply that to market structure. So please stick around and I am sure you're going to enjoy this one. So firstly, we're going to be looking at NASDAQ. Now, we're going to be looking at the New York open manipulation, uh, a liquidity run that occurs, and then how to trade off of significant structural points that were created during that manipulation. So that's a key right there. And that would also count kind of as an entry refinement because you're waiting for that key area. So yeah, let's run through it. I want to pull you guys all the way back to about what, April 2022. And let's start looking at price action. Okay, clearly over here, right, we have this big push up. I think I noted this on the daily time frame. So if we go and take a look over here, there we have this buy to sell movement, right, that we teach quite a lot at Aerial FX. So we have a buy to sell over here. And then if we go back to the hourly, you will notice something interesting, right? And I'm going to keep reiterating this concept uh, as we continue to look at price. So we have this manipulation, okay? This push up, sell off, okay? And then over here, we have New York open and we run liquidity. Obviously, a lot of volatility occurring. Liquidity run on both ends, but then we have our overall breakdown, right? So over here, we can clearly see we have demand turn supply we have a manipulation we have confluence all over so this becomes an area of interest okay now look what happens when price trades back into it right you have taps and then a collapse and then you have a push and another collapse but i did not trade here i'm just kind of noting this because we have a manipulation here run push down what happened here right why are we looking for short because We've obviously been breaking significant structural lows. So we had a significant structural low over here. Uh, there we have our swing high. And now we made a lower low, right? So we're going to be looking for shorts, obviously, in this situation because the market is pushing down. Okay. Now, just fast forward a little bit and price has pushed up, has invalidated this level and has pushed deeper kind of into this manipulation, right? Over here. Now, this is something that I see all the time and I really want to explain or kind of reiterate why you should not be trading like this. So firstly, over here, we have what uh, descending liquidity, right? We have this trend line, push down, tap, 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 tap. Okay, bunch of equal highs forming all over the place. And now we have this manipulation, right? It's kind of run on liquidity. now because right we invalidated this low over here right on the hourly a lot of traders are going to be saying okay it's a perfect opportunity to go short right break of structure manipulation take the shorts off of this level right there now why is the setup invalid look at market structure so i was talking about this last week and uh, in the first episode now this right here okay is a reaccumulation that invalidated these levels, right? This significant high here, push invalidated. Now, you're trying to take a short, right? After we ran this high, you're trying to take a short, okay, off of a manipulation and a break of order flow over here. The only time that this could be valid is if we actually kind of broke this level here, right? Before we had the pullback, we pushed down, broke this, then pushed back up. That would be a much more appropriate setup, but even that you would want to wait for this low to be run first uh, to kind of confirm uh, that price is going to push lower. So a lot of traders get stuck trading like these little breaks of structure or breaks of order flow, kind of to entice them into trades, and then they obviously you get stopped out when the real manipulation comes in. Okay, and now you've already been stopped out. You don't want to trade anymore. You've missed your level or whatever and the moves are gone. But anyway, <laughs> so just try and avoid this, guys. It's a break of order flow. Wait for a significant structural point to be broken first before you hop in. So either this area here, 
right? Because this little reaccumulation caused a new high. It caused this high to be invalidated here, okay? So we know there's a reaction gonna occur or something off of that. So if we wait for that to break first and then trade the pullback into this level, that would be better. But this little, <laughs> this low over here, there, this break of structure, <laughs> that's, it's not enough confluence to get into a trade short and a lot of people kind of see that as one. So please don't, <laughs> don't fall victim to that one. Anyway, going on, this is kind of recent price action, right? Now this happened June about a yeah, month, month and a half ago. Price is currently pushing into this level. Now, <clears throat> this is an interesting one because, right, this was our, our last kind of buy before a significant sell-off and we broke sig a significant low over here. Okay, and what do we expect? We expect price to trade back into this area and then push down because we have a couple of unmitigated buy to sells manipulations, right? Because look at the time that this occurred, 8 a.m., 9 a.m. So this like this is a session, this is New York open, okay? So that is when equities, etc., are opening, there's a lot of manipulation and we see this move occur. So you ideally want to be tra ta taking a trade in here somewhere, right? A short trade. So we are waiting for price to push in there. I am checking it out, but we need a bit more of a push. But anyway, we're going to be looking at this range that has formed in the last couple of weeks because there are just so many examples, right, of, of what I'm trying to teach over here. So, right, we're looking at this area now, okay? And I kind of want to explain what's going on. So here we have a high, we formed a new high, right? Over here. Okay, look at the time. Okay, what time is this occurring here? Here we have a manipulation taking place, okay? Look at the time, eight, nine. Okay, so this is US equities open. We have a bunch of liquidity resting here, right? Trend line. Sorry that I'm staying on the hourly, but it's gonna to be too much effort to flick through, but we have trend lines, etc., etc equities open run that push up right create high push it, new high right so this whole move formed okay now this is a valid trading area why one we have that that confluence okay this is a manipulation taking place that ran liquidity and we created a new significant high or somewhat significant high right so if you wanted to trade off of this level it's very valid because look what happens before that we have the exact same thing occurring, right? Trend line, manipulation, what's the time? Ah, exact same thing, right? Exact same thing. So logically, okay, you can be trading off of that level, okay, right? Exact same thing occurring, that happened here, create a new high, happened here again, and you can comfortably trade off of that. And do you want to look what the, what the time is? Exact same thing, right? That's the same thing happening every single day as we continue up. Now, here we have a liquidity run and I just noted on the chart, like <laughs> every time you see a significant liquidity run that kind of creates it, a somewhat significant move in the market, it's, it's gonna happen um, at that New York Open, etc. But yeah, it's happening all the time. So just please pay attention to that. So just take note of the price action, right? Look at swing lows that formed new significant highs. So over here, kind of over here, not really. And then over here, okay? And then over here. These are all valid levels that you wanna be trading off of and maybe over there. But um, I just want you to note, like look at this one. This is somewhere that I would love to trade off of, but it might've been mitigated, but just exact same thing, right? Asian, uh, Asian session kind of liquidity, just liquidity building up during, um, not Asian session, sorry, just liquidity building up during the day, manipulation, and then pull back. Continuation into this zone that we are now waiting for short in. So that, that is the whole kind of emphasis or lesson that I'm trying to teach. So just look at time and price, okay? This happens in Forex, but more London open, okay? But it's really simple if you trade manipulations that occur um, at the pivot points of these significant structural moves. 
So just wait for a run on liquidity at a significant structural point and then trade the pullback into that region for a continuation. And please don't fall victim yet again to trading breaks in order flow, okay? Wait for a break in structure, like what we're teaching over here. It's been actual structural break. Uh, break. Now, for those of you that wanna stick around, I kind of just wanna hop into a back test and we can take notes of structural zones and kind of the manipulations that take place all over the place. So this is somewhat cherry picking, but I do not really know what's gonna happen, but this is just for educational purposes. So <laughs> if I'm struggling a little bit, don't don't roast me, please. Um, over here, just looking at the time, we can see this is a kind of manipulation, right? Same time, liquidity run. So you can safely just kind of take a trade off of that area because that is ideally where we want to be trading. And since we are kind of building up well, liquidity in a sense before we touch this region, it would be safe to kind of take a long position. There you go. And then it's, it's just so simple when you trade off of um, extremes of ranges, right? Like I'm explaining, wait for the manipulation to occur. You know there's going to be order. You, you know there are going to be orders trapped there, so you can just take advantage of it. So it's really that simple. I know it looks too easy, but it's <laughs> it's not that complicated. Now let's just speed this up. There we go. I'm just going to wait for the same thing. Well, it happened here, right? Um, unfortunately, <laughs> missed it. But again, 9 a.m., 8 a.m. push equal lows mitigated that previous zone that well, this was a trade that we took but mitigated the trading zone pushed up right tap back in very simple and now this is interesting look at that right what time did that occur 8 a.m okay this is a significant structural low over here and over here so i actually would ideally wait for a push below this low before taking a trade off of this manipulation here. So let's see if that occurs. And if we break that low, no. no. There we go. So you can, I, I would comfortably want to take a trade off of that region there just because of the time that it occurred. And we kind of broke this intermediate low here so yeah so we'll just simply be a one-to-one -one. Well, again i'm just doing this kind of to show you the validity i wouldn't necessarily take a trade yeah because i'm not looking at any other time frames etc etc it's just yeah it's quite it's quite simple to do so just want to see in here yet again i'm just pointing out we have that liquidity created right that we keep seeing liquidity manipulation uh, kind of that time of day so yet again you would want to be taking just show that i want to be taking a trade here somewhere as well got that little imbalance full Yeah, we will probably see a reaction here and again given yeah. and again look at the time okay 9 a.m lows here manipulated so i i can almost guarantee you could probably put your stop i can't almost guarantee you but between this move here and this one here both of these are valid to trade so you can be taking along here or here somewhere quite comfortably. I remember this is another potential long zone here just because of this manipulation. So we'll probably see our push up from there. No. Unfortunate. 
just just play it short. Now that previous zone that I was showing you guys. Okay, so I'm not sure if we got up one to one there. I am just kind of flicking through. But just yet again, yeah, we got up one to one. But just yet again, look at the reactions off of these regions. It makes it really easy to trade, right? It's like we're literally sitting here looking at one time frame, just going from manipulation to manipulation. Again, look at the time, minor M over here. So <laughs> we broke this low and we pushed through this low, right? So now we can take a trade somewhere off of this manipulation, maybe at the 50%, right? There, and just go for another one to one. Just same concept, really simple structural points caused a significant move in the market and just trading off of that reaction. And yet again, we, we're making sure that it happens at the right time of day. Because at the end of the day, that is the most important thing. So yet again, this is also quite maybe an interesting region for us to go there on a bright time of day for the manipulation pushed in here. So maybe a bit deeper, mitigate some more orders and then come in there, hopefully so something like that. But it's just trading from manipulation to manipulation, which is sick. So we didn't see that play out, but let's see if we get a reaction off of our zone before I end this video. There we go. Easy peasy, right? Just one of our concepts, 50% manipulation occurred, caused a new low, and there we have that breakdown in price. And then where would we want to be going long? Not there, not here, so no, I don't see anything. But anyway, the video is getting quite long, so I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Please feel free to ask any questions in the comments. And yeah, I hope you have an amazing week and catch you next week.